Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to another tutorial. This week, how to make your own extra thin, quick drying cement for plastic models. Firstly, a huge warning. This has to be done in a well ventilated room and you need to wear a mask and eye protection. The fumes will have an effect on you, so please, please be very, very careful. I don't normally chunter at the start of a video, but I feel what I've got to say is really important. You're being ripped off. Let me explain over the start of the video. Now, we as modelers were being charged five quid at least, ranging up to our scene 11 or 12 quid. This includes postage for extra thin, quick drying cement. We know it's the best, that's why we use it. But I can show you a way to save yourself a shed load of money. I write the figures down in the description below so you can see how much you're being ripped off all in the sake of modeling. As you've seen so far I'm using 99.9% acetone, 99.9% .9 butyl acetate, three glass jars, some styrene strips, an old brush, a pipette for measuring. The measuring it's not going to be an exact science it's just a rough measurement. First I'm going to do some testing to find the right ratio of acetone to butyl acetate. I'm using the three jars to store my glue in. So from left to right we've got 25% butyl acetate with 75% acetone, 50% butyl acetate with 50% acetone, and then finally 75% butyl acetate with 25% acetone. I used a pipette to measure out 20 drops in each glass jar. In the first jar I used 5 drops of butyl acetate to 15 drops of acetone which gave me a 25% to 75% ratio. In the second jar I put 10 drops of each which gave me a 50-50 ratio. Then finally 15 drops of butyl acetate to 5 drops of acetone which then gave me a 75-25% to 25 ratio. Now for the first test. I've got some styrene strips which have been cut to a length, nothing specific, just any length, doesn't matter, and applied the different ratios to the two styrene parts. These were then left for an hour to dry, and we'll come back in an hour and we'll see how they welded the styrene. As you can see, the two on the right held their welds. The styrene strip broke before the weld did. The one on the left didn't work out so well, so we can bin that one. Now I tried to break the weld on both of the styrenes, but neither gave, so these are both as good as each other. But I decided for personal choice to go with a 50-50 mix. Next I used a syringe to measure 20ml of butyl acetate into a 40mm glass jar, which had marked up with DIY in bright red letters. Then I added 20ml of acetone to the same jar, put the lid back on and gave it a little shake. Now let's do a grab test between the major brand and my version. As you can see I've got four pieces of plastic that are ripped apart. Let's see which has a better grab. My glue is as good a grab as a major brand one. It allows for some freedom to move the part just like the branded glue. So there you have it. How to make your own extra thin quick drying glue for 50p a jar. Yep, 50p. Look in the description below and I'll go through all the figures for you. Well, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep on modelling.